WRC 19 is the World Radio Communication Conference. It's being held in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt. And we're here in the last week and I'm um, here this morning with John Omer, who is the uh, Secretary General for the African Telecommunications Union, the ATU. John, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Thank very good much. to see you. So, like I say, we're here in the last week. It's uh, been a long conference, uh, four right. weeks where there have been a lot of discussions here going on. I wanted to ask you, why has this conference been particularly important to you? I know that you've attended a lot of ITU conferences before. Why is this one particularly important? I think as an African group, uh, this, this conference is important to us in, 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 in a couple of ways. The first is that we are a continent with uh, a number of uh, you know, population in, in rural communities. And so we are looking for opportunities to use radio resources to reach to those communities. And, and so we did bring in a couple of proposals that deal with how we can, as an African group, uh, use radio communication resources to reach more to our rural communities. I think the second and, and the other important issue is, is that we are a growth continent. Uh, most of the other continent, probably apart from South America and the APT region, are more or less saturated. And the opportunities that uh, IMT 2020 provides for us are enormous as a group. And so we are looking forward to taking advantage of the resources that will be uh, identified and as, uh, allocated for that particular uh, technology to use them as an African continent to further the development of ICT in Africa. So those are two essential areas uh, that makes uh, this particular conference uh, very important for us, an African group. Okay, so looking at those, those topics in, in detail, have you been uh, pleased with the resolutions that have been made uh, with regards to these? Yes, uh, in a sense, yes, we are quite comfortable in terms of the proposals that we brought to the conference for purposes of reaching to rural communication, uh, rural communities. The low altitude uh, uh, technologies that are coming up have been uh, largely agreed on. Uh, and so we think that those uh, technologies provide enormous opportunities for us in Africa in reaching the rural community. In terms of uh, preserving spectrum that are available for satellite industry, that has also been guaranteed by the conference. And we still think that the satellite industry has uh, enormous opportunities for reaching uh, rural communities in Africa, both providing backhaul for terrestrial industry and also direct access uh, to rural communities. For IMT 2020, uh, there's been sufficient progress in that regard, for, uh, and we are happy, uh, as I did mention. There are still uh, you know, late night sessions, and, and we do hope to agree on uh, resources that could uh, be available subject to certain studies being undertaken. For, for, for IMT 2020. In 5G, as the, uh, as the general population would yes. know it. And of course, we are here in, in the last week. There are still decisions to be made, and, uh, and hopefully you will be pleased with those decisions and be able to take, uh, take home some good news uh, right. when, you go, when you go back. Uh, right. But I just really wanted to uh, ask you, in terms of technology and connectivity, what is the landscape looking like at the moment in Africa? As I say, most of our population is rural-based, and, and so there's still quite access needs for that, uh, that constituency in Africa. The second issue is that we are seeing increasingly uh, that uh, the inclusion of financial services with ICT is, is breaking a lot of barriers in terms of uh, you know, financial inclusion in Africa. And so for as long as if we can integrate more via ICT services, uh, with financial services, then we could see more of the African region benefiting from financial inclusion and being part and parcel of the development of the finance industry in Africa. And so uh, we do think that uh, integrating you know, ICT services with financial services is a killer in terms of reaching out to many communities in Africa. And so you know, for companies that mobile industry, for example, and, and other application services that are integrating more and more of their services, ICT services with the financial services, are cracking it quite a bit uh, in Africa. So we are looking forward to that opportunity as a growth area in Africa. And in terms of technology, is it going to be 5G or is it going to be satellites or is it going to be both that, uh, uh, that are really going to enhance connectivity? I think there cannot and should never be, I hope, a situation where one is a substitute for the other. And so the integration of these various technologies, terrestrial, satellite, uh, 
broadband, uh, you know, fiber is integrated. A lot of a lot of backhaul services, as I say, uh, for 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 the terrestrial industry is provided by satellite. And so we cannot we cannot say that one will be a substitute of the other. We just need to uh, ensure that we develop these services in a way that provides optimal services to our population, uh, be it you know fiber, be it terrestrial, be it uh, sat the satellite industry. Okay, and I uh, say so there is light at the end of the tunnel, but in this run up to the end here, what will make the most difference for you uh, uh, in terms of the African continent and in terms of the uh, the whole future uh, of connectivity? Then I think, as I say, five G promises to be uh, quite an area that will will see a lot of our machines talking to each other, uh, various uh, things integrated with each other. And so we think, I think personally, that is is a great opportunity. Uh, for the continent, but more so in the in the long run, I think in the immediate term, uh, the provision of broadband services uh, to most of our communities, especially rural, is still where we need to focus our energies and and ensuring that our terrestrial services are resilient enough. Uh, we in Africa are exposed to quite a number of adverse weather patterns, and so building resilient networks, uh, terrestrial, is still something that we're looking forward to developing uh, within the African continent. John Omer, well, thank you for joining us in the studio, and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you very much. The, the pleasure is mine, as usual. Thank you, John. Thank you.